family most high in christ bless it's your little big sis Sai here back at y'all with another video and today we're essentially going to gleam off of our foremother rachel and talk about self-reflection if you want to read more about her feel free to read genesis chapter 29 up until 31 32 and that's your four chapters right there so you can mark that complete for today all praises so we all know that our foremother Rachel was a beautiful woman. The scriptures tell us that those first seven years Jacob served for her felt like a few days. Wow. All praises for that, but looks can only get you so far. As a repenting young Israelite woman, we want to focus on within. So as you're reading through those few chapters in Genesis, you're going to learn that Rachel, our foremother, was involved in idolatry. She took her father Laban's images without him knowing. When he was searching for the images, she hid it underneath her and then lied and said that the custom of woman was upon her. Basically, she made the excuse, the lie, that she was on her menstrual cycle, couldn't get up, so he wouldn't see those images that she took from him, which she shouldn't have taken in the first place. All right, so first and foremost, being a liar is straight up dishonorable and that just brings shame to not only you but your father's household and who wants that if you're known to be a liar that one day you're telling the truth and need help or you're doing something who's going to believe you who's going to be able to vouch for this sister the most high hates lying and at the end of the day so should you going back to worshiping other idols you may not be worshiping more so common idols wearing like the rosary beads or into the stones going into witchcraft and things of that nature but some other ways that you could be involved in idolatry that are becoming more common today include money your career and social media let's take social media for instance as a young daughter sarah are you scrolling through your social media page the first thing in the morning as soon as you wake up or are you sending up prayers giving thanks that the most high gave you another day to repent are you watching and listening to daily bread personally i like to give myself like time restrictions on social media so i'll see if i can like insert a, like a screen recording or something but in the settings on instagram i give myself about an hour i give myself about an hour and i also set up breaks so i gotta i'll insert a clip somewhere somehow but on the instagram app it'll give you an option for like notify every 10 minutes or every 20 minutes you can set it to what you like so for me i'll give myself a timer for like if i've been on instagram for 10 minutes a notification will pop up like okay you're done for instagram like you don't realize how fast time flies by when you're just scrolling through social media so once I get that 10 minute notification, I, I'm off of social media, I'm done. I may check back later in the day. Once that complete hour is up, I'm signing off Instagram, I'm done. Because that just helps me become more productive and use my time more wisely. The last thing any of y'all should want to be doing is having more idle time because we know idleness leads to more evil and you don't want to get caught up out in this world involved in some foolishness so we know that evil communication corrupts good manners right so for instance i'll give a quick story time when i was in high school there was a time where i was hesitant to post certain content like repost certain content on my page because i didn't want some of my classmates to get offended at the material and I really had to ask myself, like, why are you not reposting the content? You know, why are you scared to hit like and repost? The scriptures tell us not to trim our ways to seek love. And there I was getting comfortable. So that is something that I had to check within myself. You don't go to school to make friends. If you're homeschooled, all praises. During high school, of course, you're going to have your peer pressure and be very impressionable. This is where your faith comes in. You have to be grounded. You have to stay rooted in who you are, what you believe in, and what you stand for. After I examined myself, I corrected the issue and I started reposting all the content that the leadership post. And whoever gets offended, so be it. I am reposting, liking all of leadership photos with no 
problem. It's literally one of the least things that you can do to show your support. We are a set of heart people. We have a unique set of laws, statutes, and commandments that our God has given to us to follow. We were made to stand out and that is not something to be ashamed of. You want your light to shine, okay? So when you're walking down the hallways, going to class, wherever you are, people should be looking at you and see that you are different. They shouldn't be messing with you how they mess with the other worldly girls. They should notice that the sister is different. I'm not gonna play with her. And if they're interested to see what you're about, boom, all praises. Also, while you are on social media, you wanna ask yourself, what are you watching on social media? Is it feeding your spirit or is it detrimental to your growth in this truth? Are you following brothers and sisters, part of the congregation, posting edifying content, or are you looking at these worldly celebrities wearing immodest attire? You also want to examine your inner circle. So at the end of the day, what sisters are you hanging around that are going to help you grow in this truth? If you find yourself around sisters that are often in gossip or drama, you want to examine yourself and say why are these sisters so comfortable talking to me about the situation what is it within you that makes them feel so comfortable to discuss that with you you have to ask yourself that and if you see areas where you can improve on you want to find yourself around like-minded sisters so for instance say you struggle with the spirit of anger for example you want to find yourself around sisters that are calm patient and do not have that anger spirit because it can help you and improve you it is such a beautiful thing to grow up in this truth from a young age that way you can start examining yourself from young see what you need to work on improve on and you're only going or you should lord willing be getting better and growing so we know that leadership brought out recently that the average person has 13 demons right so if you have an average of 13 demons you need to figure out which demons are holding you back from elevating. You want to examine yourself and find out what specifically is triggering those demons in you. I do not need to know what y'all are going through personally. Write yourself a list or a little note to yourself on areas where you can improve. Identify your weaknesses. It can be you being ashamed of wearing your fringes you find yourself tucking them in or when you're out in public you're raising your skirt up because you're ashamed of the dress code that the most high gave us you may have difficulty being shame-faced you find yourself being a busybody having haughty eyes and other men's faces you may be struggling with various insecurities trying to mold yourself into the standard of beauty that America has set up. Battling different lusts. You may have the spirit of envy, jealousy, covetousness. You need to acknowledge whatever it is that you are battling. Pray to the Most High and Lord's will that spirit can be removed from you. And with that also comes application, of course. We cannot forget that. So you want to find a class that is specifically targeted to what you want to improve on. There is literally in in the classroom video on youtube on just about anything and everything that you need help with so you want to listen to the class take notes review your notes study them things until that is embedded in your mind okay at the end of the day this is all for your betterment do you want to improve lord's will i hope the answer is yes for all of y'all watching this video our end goal is to enter the kingdom of heaven with our men and we cannot do that if you are out here caught up in any form of unrighteousness or giving into the traps of this world. You wanna stay rooted, stay grounded, stay faithful, study, pray, and apply like a bishop says. That is all I have for this video, y'all. Where's what y'all enjoyed? Until next time, shalom, most high in Christ bless. Oh, first behold in your